All right, guys, welcome back. This is part two. The garden is forever expanding. And behind me, I have what we finished on yesterday. And I told you I was going to continue to work on it. So it looks a little bit different. If you still didn't see part one, I suggest going to go watch that first before watching this. Regardless, if you want to stay, stay. Let's get right into it. So right here, guys, we have all the brand new holes for all the wires. I already pre-did everything. I already put the mesh on the drainage holes. Then I have the finished product here. Again, I did add a little bit of layer, but not too much. And we have, as you can tell right here, look at this solid structure, very beautiful. It does have all the blueness on it. Let me see if I can get this to focus a little bit. There we go. So it is blue still. So what I think I'm gonna do there is, I'm probably gonna be adding super glue around it and then adding sand. Because again, I am gonna be adding sand once the actual pot is filled out and adding sand around it because again it is a south african landscape that is what i'm trying to do so i actually just remembered i don't have any sand so let's go get sand oh well, we got the bags right here guys perfect perfect uh, I don't have any glue at the moment. I don't think I need I need to use super glue. I think I could just use regular glue, rub it in there a little bit, and then just toss the sand and kind of stick, and hopefully it'll just hide away all the blue on. But regardless, we'll leave that towards the end. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's get to actually filling up the pot and prepping the, the, the placing for the trees and everything. So get the structure out of the way. Place it over here, nice and safe. Now let's fill this up with some bonsai soil now i got a whole ton of it right here and let's get filling baby What I'm trying to do here is I want I want it to be visible from this line straight. So as you can tell, it is. But I want the back to be slightly higher. So I'm trying to fill in the back of it so it has some more soil. Uh, that way it stands out a bit more. And it gives out a different bit of contrast towards the back. All the trees look beautiful. Come take a closer look. This is a nice one right there. Very, very nice jade, very strong roots. Just my love, the thickness on the trunk. Uh, here we have a obvious, obviously a little smaller one. Okay, right there. Then the main one was wonderful. A very, very healthy root system right there. And then we got the last one, which this one is quite small. And look, look at all this roots, amazing. A uh, little technical difficulty, guys. The formation, the, the little landscape here broke. I had to reseal it together. Now we have to wait for it to dry. It's putting delays on everything. I, I, I water the roots on the trees, so they're gonna be okay. Luckily, they're succulents, so I mean, they're, they'll, they'll survive. They'll be okay for now, but uh, I'm gonna have to cover them up with soil and keep them at bay. And then we're gonna have to wait. I'm hoping the structure will hold. Oh my God, troubles one eternity later the little rock landscape over there in the sun to dry i wanted to get that in place first but overall i know that the big tree is going to go there so i'm going to try to save some time and work on the other parts of it so let's let's get to it guys
from what I just saw, putting it on the left side and the right side of this tree, it's gonna look a lot better if I put it off to the right side of it, because if you're looking at straight on, it's not gonna be hiding behind the tree. So, I'm thinking something around there. Um, I might get it a little bit higher, so I'm gonna get a little bit more soil there. Just because I want the tree to kind of pop a little. There we go. Something like that right there. So we're gonna do this. Actually, go do this like this. This wire is gonna go here. And this wire would just go straight across like that. Pull that into place right there. All right, so I think that's starting to look pretty good. Uh, let's put in the structure in there. Let me go get it. How it lands is most likely how it's gonna go because I do not want to wait and I'm a little hesitant. So here we go. Here we go, guys. Oh, it's already feeling fragile. Son of a bitch. Oh my god. It actually looks quite nice so far. Uh let's let's see which which two trees are gonna be the lucky ones that fit into such such spots. We'll put them right here. So we have the two specimens right here, guys. Boom, boom, boom. This one's a bigger trunk. I love this one because it's got like a scarred trunk right there. I'm thinking this one is gonna go in the front, so we're gonna place this one first. And then we'll place this one maybe again slightly higher. So I am going to fill that one up. Actually, let's put the further back one first on. So put this one aside. Like I said, I want it kind of to be a little bit higher. So we'll just put it like that. Actually, I got to put it all like that. And then I might need to trim it up a little bit just so that it's very close to the trunk on the back. I think the front would be that one right there. So. Here we go, here we go. Here we go, I like how that looks. I like how that looks, guys, I like how that looks. Before I top it off right now, because it's looking so nice, I'm gonna give it a little bit of fertilizer around the edges, just to make sure it's got nutrition all the way around. I mean, we're moving into the end of summer, into fall, so the trees don't really need much. It's not the growing season, but I don't think it can really cause any harm, especially if it's just very light. And this is bonsai fertilizer, I'm not sponsored, I should be. Well guys, we have finally arrived to the end result. It looks amazing and I hope I, I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. And remember, it's only gonna get better. It has to develop, it has to fill in a little bit, it has to go through the first growing season. And we're gonna make sure it's gonna just get better and better. But please, take a look. Well guys, there you have it, my first bonsai forest. 
I made it out of Jade's and we had a little trouble in the, you know, in the middle of doing this, but it came out wonderful. I'm very happy and very pleased. I do hope to improve the little sides that are blue. I will try to add something there and then throw some sand on and cover them up so that things can blend and there's no disruption to the eyes. Uh, I think the sand gives it an interesting touch. I may add a little bit more uh, as the sand dries out. You know, I gave it its first water, so the sand went down. I'll fill it in again. I think it's going to add a little bit more contrast. I don't think the soil does it just justice for the terrain. Um, if not, uh, I'll see as, as I go. Again, it has to develop the trees need to fill in a little bit, but there you go, guys. We have a bonsai forest.